We start with four, but in the end, there can be only one. Kia ora, ko Chris Aho, and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and end up at this, the Brain Buster. Kia ora, ko Tyler Nathan Wong, toku ingoa. The Brain Buster is as real as it gets. Will our players be able to handle the heat? Let the battle begin. Kia ora, Tyler, and don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet them now. First up today, it's Nick. Welcome to Brain Busters, Nick. Thank you. Play a bit of football and do some surf life saving. Yes. Talk to me about that. Uh, in surf life saving, we um, train for competitions that come up during the year. I've seen a little bit of it on TV, and it seems like it is exhausting. How do you get the energy, and how do you keep up the energy to do it all? Just pacing yourself in and out of the water to just keep up energy. I bet an important part, pacing yourself, could also be an important skill to have here on Brain Busters. They've got to pace yourself through those rounds. Do you think you can become a Brain Buster champion today, Nick? Yes. Confidence. I like it. Good luck to you, Nick. Harper joins us on the show as well. Harper, welcome to Brain Busters. Thank you. How are you feeling about being here on the show? I'm um, pretty good. Now, similar to Nick, from surf lifesaving to, to surfing, you do a bit of surfing? Yes. Whereabouts do you go surfing, Harper? Um, well, we, my family lives in Sumner, so we just, it's pretty easy to go to the beach from there. Beautiful beachside part of Ōtotahi Christchurch. But Harper, where did you learn to surf? Well, um, my dad's always done it, but since I've lived in Europe a lot, um, we went to the coast of France, and that's where I started. You know, just casually, coast of France, learning to surf. That must have been a cool experience, not only France, but you've actually grown up in Amsterdam. Yes. Talk to me about th that experience, Harper. Well, my mum's side of the family is Dutch, and um, so I lived there for most of, I grew up there since like the end of year three, start of year four. Wow, so anything Netherlands related, Europe related, Harper's gonna be quick on that buzzer. Good luck, Harper. Sean joins us on the show today as well. Like Nick and Harper, very sporty as well. What do you play? Uh, basketball, rugby league and volleyball. Just love your sport. What is it about playing sport in particular that you love, Sean? The competition. The competition. So no wonder that you've signed up to be a part of Brain Busters. Ready for the competition here? Yep. Excellent. Good luck to you, Sean. And we also have Violet joining us on the show. Pretty creative, aren't you, Violet? Yeah. What kind of stuff do you do? Um, well, I really like drawing and painting and writing. I'm writing a book with my friends right now. Which is a very cool thing to do with your mates. So what gave you guys the idea to just write a book? You just, you know, like having lunch one day and it's like, guys, let's write a book, why not? Well, we all really like writing and have like ideas and stuff. And one of my friends, um, she had an idea for like a cool book and we were all like, that would be really cool. So could you give us a wee, a wee snippet of what the book's about? Um, well, it's called uh, Days of the Week, um, and the week is spelt like not strong. Um, and it's like about two civilizations, one's strong and one's weak. And like, so there's like a test to become one of the strong people. If I was a book publisher, Violet, I'd be signing you right away. That sounds very cool. Thank you so much for sharing, Violet, and good luck to you today as well. Team, we've got a great bunch lined up, ready to take on the challenge, so let's get underway. It's time to play Mega Memory. 10 points for a correct answer in Mega Memory. Buzz in and get it wrong, you do lose 10 points. So we're putting the pressure on early. Let's get into it. Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now. Which frozen treat is sold in dairies by the scoop? Sure. Ice cream. Is there an H in the word cello? Nick. No. Name one of the three Barrett brothers who have played for the All Blacks. Nick. 
Bowden. Correct. Brand Castle in Romania was the inspiration for the home of which famous vampire? Sean. Dracula. Which Simpsons character shares her name with Leonardo da Vinci's Sean? Lisa. Which of these lie east of the South Island, the Chatham Islands or the Chat Group Islands? Nick. Chatham Islands. Ralph Breaks the Internet is a sequel to which 2012 animated Harper? wreck -It Ralph. What do you call an animal that eats only meat? Harper. Carnivore. Did the COP27 conference discuss 27 COPs or climate change? Violet. Climate change. Which form of transport travels through the Ōtera Tunnel? Harper. Trains. Correct. Is the Australian women's football team called the Hildas or the Matildas? Harper. The Matildas. How old do you need to be to get your learner's driver's license in? Sean. 16. Correct. What is the English name for the city called Kirikiriroa in Te Reo? Nick. Oh, pass. Hamilton. What is measured on the Kelvin scale? Sean. Wait. Temperature. Which of these roads runs through the length of New Zealand? Route 66 or State Highway 1? Nick. State Highway 1. In the Australian animated series, what is the name of Bingo's older sister? Harper. Louie. Is manure rolled into balls by poo spiders or by dung beetles? Violet. Dung beetles. Is correct and finishes mega memory. Quick round everyone, well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Harper has 50 points, Nick is on 30 points, Sean has 30 points and Violet has 20 points. So now we move into our specialist subject rounds and starting things off today, it's Violet. So Violet, what have you chosen to play? Equaliser. Shoulder Violet. Let's play. Equaliser. Violet, please step forward. All right, Violet, what made you choose Equaliser today? Uh, well, my mum told me to choose it. <laughs> so you didn't actually have a choice. Your mum told you to pick Equaliser. Yeah. So, well, I mean, that's, that's a compliment, right? Your mum must think that you're pretty good with maths. <laughs> yeah. So, let's prove that. Good luck. Here we go. First equation. Eight squared plus 14 equals... 78. Nice start, Violet. 77 multiplied by three equals... 231. Correct. 43 subtract 16 multiplied by 3 equals 81 on a roll Violet really good start let's keep it going 68 plus 78 times by three equals. 438. You got it. And finally, 11 squared subtract 15 equals. 106. Is the correct answer, Violet? You know the saying. Your mum probably says it to you. Mother knows best, and clearly she did. You've got a perfect score to start things off. I think you better thank mum for that one, Violet. Well done. Thank you for playing Equalizer. A perfect score for Violet sees her in first place with 120 points. And next up to take on their specialist subject round today is Nick. So Nick, what have you chosen? Sequencer. Thank you, Nick. Let's play Sequencer. Nick, no my hurry, my. All right, Nick. You just seen Violet get a perfect score. How does that make you feel? Increase the nerves a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. But hey, if Violet can do it, why can't you, right? Yeah. You backing yourself? You think you made the right choice with Sequencer? Yeah. Then let's get straight to it. Good luck, Nick. Here comes your first sequence. Decagon, octagon, hexagon. Order these shapes by sides from fewest to most. Hey, 
That's how we start things off. Nice work, Nick. Motorized aeroplane, manned glider, hot air balloon. In which order did these aircraft first take flight? Hot air balloon was first, then it was the manned glider, and then the motorized aeroplane. Sweden, Spain, Argentina. All of these countries by distance from the South Pole, nearest to farthest. Correct. Teen Titans Go, Gertie the Dinosaur, Rocco's Modern Life. In which order did these cartoons first appear on screen? Watched many cartoons? No. Big guess for this one then, Nick? Yeah. Unfortunately, couldn't guess that one correct. Gertie the Dinosaur was first back in 1914, then it's Rocco's Modern Life, and most recently in 2013, Teen Titans Go. Whakamutunga. 2014, 2009, 2019. Arrange the median weekly earnings of New Zealanders in these years from highest to lowest. Unlucky way to finish things off there, Nick. Sorry. 2019 was the highest. Then it's 2014 and then 2009. A little bit unlucky with that one, but still some good points. So, Nick, well played. Thank you very much for taking on Sequencer. Thank you. Nick moves into second place with 70 points. And just like that, we're halfway through our specialist subject rounds. If I can a Sean and Harper will take on their specialist subjects, but of course, all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. One wrong move on the Brain Buster, and it could be all over for one of our players. Fingers crossed they're up for it. Next up to take on the Whittle today will be Sean. So, Sean, what are you playing? Uh, Reo Rangatira. Yo, to Sean. Let's play Reo Rangatira. Sean, mo mo hide mai. Time to test your real e hoa. What made you choose real rangatira though? Um, I was in a bilingual class for five to six years. Well, be fair to say that that's going to help. With that being said, let's get into it. Sean, good luck. Karafua. Which is a Māori way of saying language? Real or roro? Real. Kapai. Was Rua Kenana a banker or a prophet? Banker. Prophet! Where would I find a kou, a hippie, and a hey hey? In a farm. You would find them on a farm. E hia ngā tapo o te tapa toru. Toru? Toru, there are three sides to a triangle, nice. And finally, is Ōtō Tahi in Te Ika Māwi or Te Wai Pounamu? Te Wai Pounamu. You got it. Sean, just the one wrong. A speedy round of reo and a very impressive round as well. Congratulations and thank you very much for taking on the challenge. Thank you. Sean moves into second place with 110 points. And we have just one more player remaining to take on their specialist subject round. That player is Harper. So Harper, what will you be playing? 
Um, Spellbinder. Kelda Harper. Let's play Spellbinder. Harper, please step forward. Why spelling, Harper? Um, I feel like it's one of my strong suits. And uh, it sounds like you can probably spell in a couple of languages as well. Only have to focus on English. I don't think there's any Dutch words there, but hey, you never know. It is brain busters after all. Harper, let's find out. So, good luck. Here comes your first word. Please spell. Apex. A-P-E-X. 20 points to start. Nice work. Spell valuable. V-A-L-U-A-B-L-E. Is correct. Rigorous. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Rigorous testing of the bikes was undertaken before they were ready for sale. Rigorous. R I G O R O U S. It's correct. Spell fluorescent. F L O U R. Need a swap. The O and the U. F L U O R E S C E N T. Final word, Harper. Cough. C O U G H. That is correct. Great spelling there, Harper. I think you could have had a perfect score if you just swapped a couple of letters around, but still really, really good, Harper. So congratulations. Thanks for playing Spellbinder. Harper has the lead again with 130 points. Violet is on 120 points. Sean has 110 points. Then we have Nick on 70 points. So unfortunately, we do need to eliminate our first player today on Brain Busters. And I'm sorry to say that, Nick, it is you. But a $50 bank account now belongs to you. What's your plan for that money? Uh, save it for an Xbox. Bit of gaming. I like the style, Nick. Enjoy that. Also, keep up the surf life saving as well. Best of luck. And thank you for playing Brain Busters. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. Our players need to stay focused. Amygdala is the goal. But to get there, they've got to get through this. The Brain Buster. Pena koe, Tyler. And before they can get to the Brain Buster, they have to take on the Brain Teaser. All of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Those options are Blueprinter and Identifier. So, Harper, Sean and Violet, please vote for which one you would like to play now. Thank you for your votes. We'll start with Harper, who would like to play Identifier. Sean has voted for Identifier. And Violet has voted for Identifier, making it three out of three. So, let's play Identifier. 30 points up for grabs in the brain teaser, and with just 20 points separating all of our players, it's anybody's game. So let's get straight into it. Good luck. Let's play Identifier. Aphid, earwig, giant weta. Arrange these insects from largest to smallest. Sean. Giant weta, aphid, and earwig. Sean going for giant weta, aphid, and earwig. Is it correct? Unfortunately not. Had the giant weta, but then it's earwig, and then aphid. Unfortunately, Sean had to take 30 points away. Next up, identify three environmental effects caused by pollution. Harper. Um, smog, acid rain, and ozone depletion. Harper, currently in the lead. Would love to extend it though. And does just that. Well done, Harper. And finally, Eliminate three non-metal elements on the periodic table. Sean. Glass, wall, and nitrogen. All locked in, unfortunately, Sean has a feeling 
that he's got it wrong. Let's find out. Not rubber, but it is carbon and oxygen. We're looking for non-metal elements on the periodic table. So I'm sorry to say, Sean, that's another 30 points I've got to take away. And that also completes the brain teaser. Thank you for playing. Let's check in with the final leaderboard. Harper now has 160 points. Violet is on 120 points. Then we have Sean on 50 points. So Sean, it does mean you've been eliminated from Brain Busters. Unlucky there, had to go for it, so I can really admire that. A $75 bank account now belongs to you. What do you have planned for the money? Probably gonna buy some basketball shorts. Great stuff, Sean. Well, all the best for the basketball, and thank you so much for playing Brain Busters today. Thank you. And congratulations to Harper and Violet. For them, it's now on to the Brain Buster. It's now time for our final two to take on the Brain Buster. You ready to do this, team? Let's go in Toru, Rua, Tahi, go! It's skill power here on the ultimate obstacle course. Who's gonna take the dub? Will it be Harper or Violet? Let's find out. Both girls out of their harnesses and straight down the neurotransmitter. Fast feet across the molecule steps and now onto the important code. Can they remember it? Violet using that double-sided approach to the Corpus Colossum and Harper with the single. These girls are moving. Then out the hippocampus, putting their memories to the test. Are their codes right? Boom, down goes Violet's wall. And so too does Harper's. It's a race up the prowl to load. Who's getting to the top? Harper or Violet? Good work, girls. Keep it up. It looks like Violet's extended her lead as she gets to the top first. But look at this. Both girls are powering through the web tunnel the exact same time. Wow, we're back to being neck and neck as Harper caught Violet up. Both girls are now on the frontal lobe heading towards the DNA ladder. Who can get to the DNA ladder first and get a head start on the switches? Harper and Violet working hard here on the frontal lobe. Harper went for a little bit of a spin, but she corrected herself. Looks like she may get to the DNA ladder just before Violet. But it's coming down to these switches. Who gets that green light? And wow, look at that. Harper with the green light first. That's the quickest green light I've seen on the season so far. Well done, Harper. One more obstacle to go for Basil Ganglia. That's the one. One more over and under here for you. And look at that. What a stylish way to finish. Congratulations, Harper. You're our Brain Buster champion. Good stuff, Violet. There's your green light. Make your way to the Basil Ganglia. Good racing, Violet. And awesome work, Harper. Well done, girls. And that is our race. Well done, Violet, and well done, Harper. Bring it across this way, guys. Violet, let's start with you. It looked good to start with. I think you had the lead there, entered into the keypad, also known as the hippocampus, nice and quick. Obviously, it's a practice with the remote at home, and then nailed the course, but just talk me through what happened on the DNA ladder. I don't really know. Just couldn't get the right combination. Trying <laughs> desperately to find the combination, just couldn't quite get it quick enough, but still a fantastic race from you. Second place, so $100 bank account. What are you going to do with the money? Um, probably redo my room. Nice, very cool. What colour theme are we looking at doing? Um, I'm not really sure. Well, with that money, it is all up to you. Violet, congratulations, thanks for playing. Harper, a big congratulations to you. First place today on Brain Busters. Playing catch up for a little bit, but you got through that stringy web tunnel and managed to pull yourself through and really take over the lead there. What were you telling yourself throughout the race? Don't fall off. <laughs> Which you managed to do. I mean, you almost took out the buzzer and me at the end of the race, but the obstacle course, you did a fantastic job. So there is one thing left to do, Harper, is taking on Amygdala. Harper, welcome to Amygdala. Thank you. <laughs> you have made it to the final round. A huge congratulations once again on being a Brain Buster champion. This is what we play for. It all comes down to this, and now you had the chance to win a total of $280. It's a lot of money, Harper. How are you feeling about taking on the final challenge? Um, confident, but not too confident. Just. Ready? You're ready? I think. Well, if you're ready, Harper, I'm ready. So, let's play Amygdala. First up, 
True or false? TikTok is a famous timekeeping app. False. Correct. Is Curious George a dolphin or a monkey? A monkey. What is the everlasting number starting with 3.14 commonly known as? Pi. It is pi. Definitely not my favourite type of pie, that's for sure. Tony Stark is also known as what Avenger? Iron Man. He is known as Iron Man. Personally, best Avenger. Can't argue with me. You're not going to argue with me, right? Sure. Sure. Correct answer. Can't give you points for that one, though. Moving on. According to the nursery rhyme, what creature climbed up the water spout? The itsy bitsy spider. Spider is correct. Which craft hobby involves sculpting wet clay on a wheel? Pottery. 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 Locking it in? Yes, yes. Pottery, locked in. Pottery. <laughs> How many more times can we say it? Pottery is correct. <laughs> How many pockets does a snooker table have? Might also be known as a pool table. Four or six? Four, six. Six. Wait. Six? I think it's six. Six. <laughs> Four. Oh. When was the last time you played a game of pool? Never. You never played? Surely you've played? No. Watch someone play? Well, yes. Four. It was sick. No! I'm sorry, Harper. It was no. six. Which is a classic arcade game? Gallagher or Malaga? Gallagher. Locking it in. 50-50 chance. Unless you know the game. Have you heard of it? Alright, bit of a guess. Locked in. And correct. Which food does not come from the same animal? Pork, ham, or beef? Beef. Beef. Final answer. Beef. Is it beef? It's beef. It is beef. Last question. True or false? The unicorn was native to South Africa. False. True or false, the unicorn was native to South Africa. True then, true. When do you think unicorns roamed the South African plains? Many, many, many years ago. Wait a second, false. You just suddenly false. just cha changed the whole direction. You just did a 180. Wait, unicorns Omihaba. aren't real. <laughs> false. 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 Final answer, Harper. False. Are you locking in false? False. You sure you want to lock it in? False. 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 Is locked in. False. Yes. <sighs> and it is false. Bit of a sigh of relief. That could have been a bit awkward. Harper, look at the board. $252 is yours. Congratulations. What are you going to do with the money? I'll probably shout Maccas for Amelia Jones and Taylor Ross. Well, they are getting a great feed from Maccas. A massive shout out to them. I'm sure they are watching and supporting you right now. A brilliant effort. Congratulations. Thank you so much for playing, Harper. You're walking away with $252. Feel like you could crush the Brain Buster? You know the deal. Jump online and take the test. Pēnā koutou i te mātaki mai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.